Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got footage of our Sussex Prem match against second place East Grinstead. With some grim weather forecasts and supposedly a 100% chance of downpours at 12.30ish, East Grinstead won the toss and stuck us in with the aim of getting a few early wickets in some unfavourable batting conditions. James Russell headed out at one with Sam Cooper at the other end batting at two. Plenty of action in the first eight balls of the day. Russ takes the first over for 10 and then Coops goes four wicket with that one coming off the leading edge to mid off. East Grinstead have got their early wicket and coming in at three, we've got Bridges' new boy, Rahul Tangirala. No Connor at three today. He's got a slight shoulder injury and is down the order, finding it hard to bear weight in his left arm. But that gives us all a chance to get a good first glimpse of Rahul, who's just finished his school cricket for the summer and is a product of the Sussex Academy. And there's the first few drops of rain. Over on the covers, the lads are ready and waiting for the heavens to inevitably open and bring a halt to proceedings. So a good start from Rahul and Russ, 49 for one from 12 in some tricky, uncertain conditions. It's getting darker. I promise you the rain's on its way. The change of bowling pays off and the introduction of Hindley's left arm wrist spin grabs Grinstead their second. Russ putting that straight to mid wicket and he goes to 24 today, having done the hard work of getting in. Thorns in next at four, and this could be a tricky period to negotiate for the Kiwi. And the rain has finally picked up. I told you, the boys were starting to look a little embarrassing over on the covers for 45 minutes before being summoned onto the pitch. A sizable break which lasted 
well over an hour, resulted in tea being taken and we're back out there again, losing 16 overs from the day's play. Not long into the resumption and Thorns off stump goes AWOL. The score now 58 for 3 from 18. The earlier downpour reducing the innings, giving us a maximum of 50 overs to bat should we use them, which would then leave Grinstead 44 overs to chase. Next up and hoping to replicate last week's innings, we've got skipper Joey Walker. Thirty-three on debut for Rahul, but he becomes Hindley's second wicket. LBW on the front pad. He looked calm at the crease and batted well. Let's hope we'll see plenty more of that from him. And the score is seventy-two for four in the twenty-fourth. Joe doesn't pick the wrong one and some good gloves sees him stumped halfway down the track. Grinstead have picked up their fifth wicket and with only 83 runs on the board, a big rebuild is needed from these two. That's the 100 up and 18 overs left to bat. If you offered me now, yeah, I'd probably take 200 in these tough conditions from here. That's chopped on and Hindley has his fourth victim. Crazy what a bit of doubt can do when the ball's turning both ways. We're in a little bit of a hole here and at 108 for six, we're in need of something special. Here's Connor Golding, as low as eight today. As I touched on earlier, his left shoulder's been a little sore and at nets on Friday, he was struggling to bat. All okay to bowl, he says, but might have to grit his teeth a little and fight through the pain with the bat. Well, that's what he told us. That sweep off his third ball may suggest differently, though. Aaron gets something on that on the way through, and he's gone for 18. It's 112 for seven in the 35th. Striding out at nine and joining Connor, we've got Ollie Blanford. Some of the diehard fans might recognise that these two have opened up for us before in the past. Incredible depth in the batting today or they're just scared hiding down the order. You can make your own mind up. One's cleared out Rosie behind the camera, picking up a nice shiner on his neck for it. At least the camera's all right, though. Oh, 
Oh, lovely. If that touches the ball, it's a run. Ten overs now to go, and these two have got us up to 159. Some great stuff from Ollie, and they must be some strong painkillers. Connor's on. Mr. Blanford goes, trying to repeat the previous delivery, and that's five wickets for Tom Hindley. His left arm wrist spin always seems to get the better of us. Despite impressing the boys with that slog sweep, Cavey can't clear the man at deep square and he's the ninth casualty today. 180 for nine from 45 overs. Better game gets the game. Trinity, but it's actually a fun to roll for. Oh, right, come on, good man. And with that final barrage from Connor, the innings is over. He made 74 not out from 45 today and supposedly with just one shoulder. Definitely one of the best individual innings this season given the circumstances and situation. So 223 for nine from our 50, which gives the visitors 44 overs back to chase that down. It would probably be a good idea for Connor to rest up given the changeover was less than 15 minutes. Ah, oh, no wait, he's got the new ball in his hand. Ollie diving forward gets the run out from the second ball of the innings. He dismisses the grinted number two without facing. What a start for us. From the other end, we've got a fully fit Aaron Brown charging in for the second over.
O'Connor gets the second and it's Ollie Blanford who does the fielding again. Grinstead skipper Haynes with a miscued flick and it's well taken by Ollie B. East Grinstead finding themselves two down now with 24 on the board from five overs. Short spell for Connor, understandably, and George Cave is on to replace him. Aaron gets the edge and Thorne pouches that nicely at second slip to get number three. Great effort from the bowlers so far. The score now 45 for three in the 10th. That one just coming up short of Ollie at backward point. Aaron furious he was so deep to start with. Yeah, without facing. No, 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 no. Shot. No, no, no. Don't recognise him really. Yeah. Yeah. George Cave, that is unreal. With no time to react, he's managed to take that return catch and make it look so easy. That deserves the slow-mo replay treatment. A big wicket for us and Grinstead now 64 for four. Another bowling change and from the far end we've got Rowan Norde and his off spin. That's about as easy as they come at any level of cricket. This sport has a way of humbling you, doesn't it? Especially after a certain comment last week. I just hope the drop from this bell won't cost us in the end. Hundred and twenty six for four from twenty eight, so ninety nine needed from ninety six balls. And these two at the crease are well set, meaning this should be a thrilling finish today. That boundary brings up the 50 for Ben Renfrey, the Grinstead number six. A great knock so far and has kept the visitors well in this chase.
So not just a handy bat, Rahul also bowls some skillful leggies. Joe tosses the ball to the debutant, searching for that breakthrough. And it finally comes. Thank God someone can catch. And it's Thorn down at Cal Corner who takes that in his lap. What a time for your first Bridges wicket. So 143 for five. East Grinstead need 82 from 63 balls now. Connor gets the other set man, Kamish, and that's an even bigger wicket. He loves scoring runs against us. A well-made 48 runs for the EG opener, but now with two new men at the crease, we're definitely in the driving seat now. And Rahul's off. He's changed the match since coming on today. The quicker one traps the bat in front of all three. And it's just three wickets separating us from victory. Grinstead still have it all to play for. And will still try and chase this down. Georgie Cave takes the steepler and these wickets keep coming. A great catch in the deep from him. The camera lens always struggles to show how dark it is out there in these conditions. Eighteen balls left and Grinstead need 48 to win but they've shut up shop and choose to bat out for the draw. They feel they can't chase this and don't want to give us the maximum points for the win. Which brings us down to the last over. Over to Rahul and his leg spin to really make this an unforgettable debut. And despite that big appeal on the penultimate ball, which, let's face it, was just a tad optimistic, the game ends in a draw. 12 points to Bridges and 11 to East Grinstead. A great comeback from us having been in real trouble at 112 for 7. Two standout performers with both bat and ball, the debutant Rahul Tangerala, who's playing for the Sussex second 11 this week, and of course, the old faithful Connor Golding. Rain didn't ruin today's game, thankfully, and it was a good contest against a strong East Grinstead outfit. Thanks everyone for watching and we hope to catch you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.